It took me a long time to realize this, but my emotions aren't always that clear for people to see. As an introvert, I have one hell of a poker face. It's been like that ever since I was a kid. This has its advantages, but it's also pretty tough to deal with at times. Of course, the people who really have it tough are the people around me. Why? Because they have no idea what I'm feeling at any given time. The situation was always worse when I was pissed off. I couldn't understand for the life of me why no one could see how frustrated I was. They would come up to me and talk to me when I quite obviously did not want to be talked to. Why the hell were they doing this? Were they just trying to mess with me? Did they enjoy making me more and more furious until I went completely nuts? And it took me a while to realize the truth. They had no idea I was mad in the first place. They just didn't see the signs. To me, these signs would have been super obvious for anyone to see, but I guess for most people they go unnoticed. Anyway, one sign that people would always miss was the fact that I was responding with one word. When someone would ask me how I was doing, I would say, fine. Obviously, I was not fine, but for some reason they didn't understand that, and they couldn't see that I was giving them a one-word answer so that they would go away. I quickly learned that the best way to deal with someone who would piss me off was to pretend that everything was okay. My logic was that if they thought I was happy, they would leave me alone, and I wouldn't have to explain to them why I was pissed. That was just a conversation I did not want to have. The more I had to talk, the more pissed I would get. Giving a fake smile and walking away ended my interaction with them right away. Of course, that didn't always work. You can only pretend everything is okay for a while. If someone keeps doing something to piss you off and you keep giving them a fake smile, eventually all that hate you bottled up inside of you is going to explode. I learned that the hard way. And then, of course, they would get all confused as to why I just blew up over the smallest thing. They really should have understood I was pissed off at them when I refused to help at the weirdest times. Oh, what's that? You have all the answers to tomorrow's math test? No, I don't need them. You want to perform CPR on me to stop me from dying? Nope. Don't touch me. I pretty much wanted nothing to do with the people that had pissed me off, even if they had something I really needed. I wanted no interaction with them whatsoever, no matter what. When I was seriously pissed off, I would just shut down emotionally. I pretty much answered every question with whatever. On the outside, it looked like I was just tired or bored. But on the inside, there was a furious rage building up inside of me. I don't know why I expected them to see through this wall of apathy, but I did. If the people that pissed me off became truly unbearable, I would just bury myself in a book. I would suddenly become very interested in whatever I was reading, just so I didn't have to talk to them. It worked, but they still had no idea I was pissed off at them. They probably knew something was wrong when I was being more social with their cat than I was with them. I would give all my attention to their pet and completely ignore them. I still get pissed off at people, but I've learned to express my emotions. Well, most of the time anyway. And most of the time I've learned that the best thing to do when you're pissed off is to get some alone time cool down, ponder how I'm going to kill someone, realize I don't actually hate them that much, and then eventually, eventually, I realize that I should probably just forgive them. Most of the time, that is. This video was based on an article that is posted on our main site. If you want to learn more about this subject, check the description below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.